a lot of people. My name is Dennis, and I have this photo collection database built to um, keep track of my photos, and I decided to share my shoes this um a helpful tool that you can use to store your pictures. As you can see I have this photo with number one and this are the information I have about the photo. It's uh I'll name it and it's good photo type. Okay, this will be the name of the book, um, the picture, and description. Um, book. Okay, I will say this. The next record is this picture, which is when the scrolls get taken, and personal photo as a description. The third one is a logo, a business logo. I just named it, that was Asenia. Uh, yeah, Asen. And I'll save this. So let's close this, close this, and open the report. That's a form. It's a form. You see our collection ID number one dates in this book, which uh, are the names not here. Now let's do that. And then the Dennis book prototype, second one Dennis schools. So it keeps recording all the input that you do. So next, let's close this. Yes. Open this and, and let's add a new record. Um, second record, third, fourth. There is no record, so we're gonna get a new record. Uh, Another book. Example. And today. So let's add this. Uh, let's add this picture. Uh, I have it here. We got it, it didn't fill all the space that is cool for now. So um, let's say this and close. Now let's go to our report. Our book collection number four is another book sample, which is over here. And we have uh, number one. And three. So that's how it works, guys. Um, let's close this. Now that I have shown you how it works, I'm gonna um, show you how to build this database in case you need it. So first of all, I have tables. I have tables right here. I first made this table. All oh, this, you see, as you can see. It's also updated right here in my table. And it's right here. I can put on uh, the description here. I'm just gonna update. Um, save. So this is what I just did first. Build my um, table. If you want to build a new table? You go to the create button and you go to table 
and it takes you to a blank table. Now you're going to go to the design view, which is this one. This one, and you name the table Auto Collection uh, Table. Now we are in the blank page, so uh, this one we will name a collection ID. Let's yeah, see. I have your attention, please. The library will be closing in 15 minutes. That's 5 o'clock. Thank you. And the next one is the date. And from the, um, this, yes. from the collection, the data type, just leave it to ask that. All number this one, even the date, and we go here. This the name, the picture, location, and description. Description and a location. Now we need this short text. That's so why we need it. As a, you can make it as an attachment or as O L E objects, which is I'm gonna use and leave all this just um, less notes one text. And save this. Now let's go to the data sheet view. Now we have we can now collect information now. Collect a uh, picture. Let's just put in one. Today, um, and the picture. Just this one, you have to left click and go to insert object. It takes you to this Microsoft Office. Blah blah blah. Choose the bitmap you make. Click OK. We go to the home, paste button, paste the form. Then you go to your folder and locate your picture file. Then you exit and return to documents. Now we have it. Um, sample. And then the Save this. Now we just have it in the table form. Which, if you want to view this, we, there is no really an output, so we need an output. So let's save this and let's close this. Now we want to convert this table into a form. So let's go to the form design. And add existing fields. Now we got to locate this table, photo collection table, which is right here. And we need the name here. Maybe this one. We need the dates.
we need the date and then we need the picture we need the date though so this is a uh, an interface that we will use normally you are not going to use the uh, the table because uh, you, you can just see what you are doing you, you see what you do but you are not really seeing the output is really an input which uh, designers use that one not uh, the end user so as an end user you have to use this form which is also an input um, for collecting pictures so um, I started using this one and you want the description down here below and location And we will leave the notes on um, blank up now. I want to align it. And uh, let's see. Yeah, this looks like we have it. Um, so let's do one more thing. Let's select all and look. Here we can make it transparent. Now we have it. Now we can also add a new record to today. Another. And then save collection. Guys, I think we're gonna stop here and the next time I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you how to create a report. So this is what we have right here. We gonna have like for input we have number one and record number two, record number three. Thank you guys. See you guys later.